And mostly he tends to kind of pick them up during the course of his adventures, you know. Like, <laughs> That's somewhere or other. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie knows well. Yes, thank you very much. Stephen Donegan of Lurgan. Hello. Just Hello. excuse me, panel. There's panel. a bit of a question <laughs> here. Over here. They just get carried away, these hooies. Uh, Donegan of Lurgan, he wants to know who was the longest running female assistant? I don't know. <laughs> I no, don't know anything about that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane. Oh, were, I did know. Uh, Liz Smith, Elizabeth Sladen. Yes. How, how, how long did she play it for? Oh, years. How long did you do it, Ace? <laughs> how long were you there, Ace? So? I was there. I wasn't there for very long, actually, except I've turned out to be the longest running companion because so. I've been carried on in book form. In the books, in the. Yeah. Oh. The oh. novelisation. See, which excuse me, Sophie. Sophie you do. So, you know Sophie. Yeah. Sophie. <laughs> well, was more, nice. more questions about Doctor Who. Oh, there's the number. Oh, eight one nine eight five double one. What facts is eight one nine eight five double two double two? Let's stump them, please. Let's <laughs> stump them. <laughs> but now it's some some panic to us over. Now, as you just saw, Andy, our lovely Irish lad with those beautiful eyes, which I don't know if he could. He was like giving some shamrock to our expert panel, Doctor Who expert panel, because today's question of the day. <laughs> What do you want to know about Doctor Who? And our first time Lord Trivia Expert is Gary Russell, editor of the Doctor Who magazine. We've also got Sophie Aldred, who was ace, uh, Doctor Who's companion for three years. And finally, there's Terence Dix, who was scriptwriter on the show for six years and has written 70 Doctor Who books. OK, so Danny Whelan from Wales, what does the TARDIS stand for, Terence? Uh, time and relative dimension in space is the kind of absolutely correct answer, but in later <laughs> years an S crept onto dimensions. So, dimension, so people tend to say time and relative dimensions. But Thank it you was very much. in the early days it was dimension. Thank you. Uh, James Mayer of Nabra, which planet do the Cybermen come from? Uh, originally they come from a planet called Mondas. Mondas. Um, and then they went to another planet called Telos. Ooh. Telos. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> ben Punter from Islington says why does the doctor regenerate? Because he feels like it. And you, you might because say that. And you, <laughs> and you can, can keep the show well. going if the, if the lead actor gets sloppy. You can say, time for another regeneration, <laughs> doctor. <laughs> Came in very useful. I don't think that years. was a very good answer. <laughs> I, don't I, used to do it on, I used to do it on Neighbours, too. They were regenerating. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stevie it's Harris from Swansea. <laughs> 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 Stevie Harris from Swansea. Where do the dialects come from? Oh, Scarrow, I Scarrow. know that one. Yeah. Yes, yes, wonderful. Scarrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, and did you know that Scarrow. backwards, it's Carled, they started out, out as Carleds, That's didn't right. they? But Carleds. then they became, yeah, I but she's Dalek backwards. Obey. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's getting a bit chatty now. All right, more ways to stump the Doctor Who panel, 819851111. Or faxes, 819852222. However, do you want some sunshine in your life? I'll say that one. Now, to this question of the day. <laughs> What do you want to know about Doctor Who? Go on, we've got one Here we time are for one. From Aaron Meta of Leicester. Here's a quickie. How was K9 operated? By uh, radio control. A remote control dog. Well, yeah. you were, which he very often didn't a lot of the time. I saw a whole studio gathered round waiting for K9 to wiggle his ears. <laughs> 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 Never work with kids and robot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. More Doctor Who's trivia. 0819851111. Or facts is 8.22, more headlines at 8.40. Here's Gabby and Mark. Thank you very much. Peter? Yes, Gabby. That was Mike getting very excited there for a second. Um, is there anything you've ever wanted to know about Doctor Who? No, but do we know who's going to play <laughs> Doctor Who in the new film? Oh, there we are. Do you know who's going to play Doctor Who in the new film? No, not yet. Nobody does. No. Is there any, any names that you could drop that have been looked at? Yeah. Uh, There's all well, kinds they, of rumors. They've, they've talked of about sort of Richard O'Brien and Michael, Michael Crawford, Crawford and Alan Rickman and, and David people Hasselhoff. Like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or um, I've got an idea. David. Peter Smith. David. Yes. Peter Smith. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Okay, you've got another well, question. Okay. While, while you're there, Our panel. Expert panel. Yes. Expert panel. Paul Wright from Banbury. Right here we go. Uh, what period in history was the Invisible Enemy set in? Um, twenty. Oh, you stumped him, no, stumped no, him. No, it's set in the year 5,000. Oh, it's, it's not it's history, it's the future. The future? Can we believe him? <laughs> <laughs> we have to, he's the expert. More questions, 81985111. Of course, faxes. 81985222.